Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hola a todos. Bienvenidos. <laughs> Greetings to everyone. Okay, so um, thank you for joining in on our live, on our live stream um, to honor our fellow, you know, black, black and brown women in the Galifuna community doing the thing, okay? Doing the thing. So my name is Tatiana and I am a, a intuitive life coach, um, brain education. I really work with helping you to develop your mind, body, and spirit um, through your health and wellness, okay? So, that, um, Audrey. Hello, what's up people? My name is Audrey and I am a lot of things, but first I am the creator of the blog, Then Came Roatan, which basically shares my journey of me moving from New York to Roatan. I'm also the director of the Garifuna Cultural Center. And for more info about me, just visit my social media channels, YouTube channel, Facebook. <laughs> I'm excited to be here with Tati today. Who are we talking to today, Tati? We are talking to Norma the founder of Botanica Natural. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have been using her products. I am a, a big fan. Um, so she's gonna be coming in soon. She's not here as of yet. But um, in the meantime, I wanna shout out um, the Garifuna Market. <laughs> I just wanna shout them out. Um, these are the hoop earrings. Oh, let me see. Oh, it says Garifuna. Oh my God, it says Garifuna. Oh, sure. Yes. I gotta get here. Yes, you have That's to. Nice. Yes, it's the bomb. I'm so, like a fan. What's their website? Is um the Garifuna Market dot com. Okay. All right. I'm, yeah, I'm a, I have I'm literally a, like the hoodie. They are excellent customer service. Um, the way they deliver, you could feel the energy of that is so good. This is theirs too. This pillow. Oh wow! Yes. If if you want to like, oh, it up. Like my kids will have a ball with that. I'm oh my god! I have a ball with it. So you can just cover <laughs> it up if you like. And I have it in my living room. It's so so cool. And then if I want, if I want to show off a little bit. Uh oh. Hello. Where are okay. you? I go visit their website. We saw you. I <laughs> yeah, so this is um this is theirs as well. And as soon as they put this out, I had I literally like I think I I think I eat um DM them to like hold one. I'm like uh -huh. hold it. <laughs> it. Don't let it don't let it go. So they oh, did. Yeah, they nah. did. awesome, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right so of course we are going to also share some resources with you all we want to support our community this is a platform to really support our community to really um put put it out there put ourselves out there and to let everyone know that we are here to support one another that we want to see everyone thrive yes we want definitely yeah so Audrey, you want to say anything regarding what you're doing from your end while I try to get in touch with um Yeah man. Guests? So if anybody visiting Roatan, oh man, you guys um I like I said, I'm the director of the cultural center and we've been closed for one year, but we are reopening on April 12th, which as many of you guys know, April 12th is the official Garifuna settlement day. So on every April 12th, we celebrate the arrival of the Garifuna people to Honduras. And there's big festivals in so many Garifuna towns all over Honduras, including Punta Gorda, which is where the Garifuna Cultural Center is located. So if any of y'all got plans to come during that time, please stop by and visit us. And on that specific day, I know there's gonna be a lot going on in the community. Usually there's uh, like a regular program for this day, but because of COVID and the pandemic, like planning big events has been like, uh, you know, so, but trust and believe there's going to be something going on. So 
If you in Roatan or Honduras around that time, come stop by and visit us. Like the cultural center is a place for all Garifuna people to visit if you want to connect with your roots. I know a lot of Garifuna Americans who don't really know much about the culture. So if you on vacation, just stop by and you know, let's chat and get connected. Definitely, definitely. And who was just out there? I saw Wait. you in the picture. Oh, Arnold, like, <laughs> open aerobics. Arnold was there. He was, you know, on vacation, but mm -hmm. he had to stop by, showed us some love, and he actually did a virtual class on the beach somewhere in West Bay. I joined. I had so much fun with him, man. I can't wait to, to go to one of his classes in person. <laughs> yeah, when I saw him, I was screaming at home. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was, there. I was just, and when he did the class, I also joined. I joined oh, and I was like dancing. Yeah, yeah. And he put all his information there. So it was easy to, mm -hmm. to stay connected with him. Mm -hmm. I think he has a class, a live class, a, a class in New York with live drummers next Saturday, I believe. Or sometime yeah. next week. Yeah, you got to look at his social media at Garifuna Aerobics, y'all. At Gary for not aerobics. Check it out. He's up early because I see those classes. Because you know, I, I wake up early. I wake up. I'm a five five a.m. kind of energy over here. Yes. So yes. I see that he starts his classes like six um, a.m. Oh, that's my time. That's my time to work out. I love working out early in the morning. <laughs> that's the best time, honestly. That is the best time to do your yes. thing to work out. Um, and the reason why that's the best time because the energy is less tense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. So there's so many people sleeping at the time, of course, when the the the, the time, right? People mm -hmm. are still resting. Um, and it's like the start of a whole new day. So yeah. the energy is not as thick. Mm -hmm. So you you can feel like you can actually breathe. You can actually feel the breath. You can actually exhale and you have a time. I, I feel it just as you're talking about it. I feel the relaxation. Just imagining me, myself, and I, 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> and also, you know, your children are sleeping. If you have children, okay. you have guests. Mm -hmm. You know, I know at least in my home, it's only me and my, my spouse. Mm -hmm. And when I wake up that time, I don't have to hear him on the phone because he has he works from home. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to hear him on the phone. I don't have to be interrupted. My mind is absolutely clear. My spirit yeah. is like at is at his most stillness. <laughs> yes, yes. Perfect time to meditate, work out, pray. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. What, what products did you use from Botanica Natural from Norma? Because so, I you know it. what? I'm actually going crazy now looking, but my partner was like doing some cleaning. So okay. <laughs> put everything all over the place. But this one is the body, the body, the body um oil. Mm -hmm. It's like almost done, guys. Wow. Almost done. So this is really good to um to put on your body after you finish taking a shower or a bath. Helps you go to sleep. I feel mm -hmm. so good and I, it smells so good. What does it have in it? It has like, I can't really see the instructions. Uh, that's why I wanted her to um, explain that. But she mm -hmm. has, it's all natural product mm -hmm. inside here. The oils are all natural. She has avocado. She has, um, let me see, jojoba seeds, oil, um, coconut oil. She has a few other things that I can't see now because you know, it's all you and I kind of yeah. smudged it. <laughs> yeah. I kind of smudged it. Um, but I also got like this cream farmer that she has. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, really good. So smooth, literally like melts in your skin. Mm. Mm -hmm. It melts in your skin. Wow. And then I also have this one right here. This is the sweet orange and lavender oil, mm -hmm. body oil. Mm. So, and she actually has pieces of the herbs in there. Oh, wow. And, uh, this is the lavender. Good it's, stuff. Mm-hmm. Does she have anything for the hair? Um, I know that she would, she would, um, she shows something for the hair. I haven't tried that product yet, mm -hmm. but she does have that. 
She also yeah. has like sea salt. I think it's sea salt, or I got the um, Himalayan salt for the bath. Mm -hmm. um, I have that. So I haven't gotten to use that as of yet, but it mm -hmm. comes with a really beautiful bottle as well. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Her packaging is so beautiful. It's so professional. You can feel the energy. She comes, she gives you like a little, you know, um, um, what is it like a poster board something it's like a little poster to say thank you for purchasing so she she you can tell that she cared about her customers oh nice nice so the product is in my package oh my god i'm sure you can you're gonna be so excited <laughs> yeah and i think she also um packaged in it um a lip balm for me mm. and i'm like how did you know <laughs> Wow. Okay. Yeah, the lip balm is like perfect. It melts right onto your lips as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, I hate this lip balm that it's like, like, you know, <laughs> like, can you go on? <laughs> yeah, and I'm a lip type of person. I mm -hmm. like keeping my lips moisturized. Mm -hmm. um, so that really, really matters for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me see. Let's, let's see if she's about to log join us. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. What happened, Mama? How's the baby feeling? She is fussy. I think she wants to take a nap. Say hi, Mama. Yeah, she's rubbing her eyes. Yeah, yeah. that's usually <laughs> the sign. Yes. <laughs> But it's so hot here today in Rotan, so I think that she's, I think she's hot. <laughs> Summertime is here. Okay, Marita. Do, 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 do. Uh, for those of you guys who are watching next week, oh man, we have a treat for you. We have a treat. We got we got two women coming through. All right, we're gonna we have Sulma Arzu Brown. Yes, um, Sulma Arzu Arzu Brown. She's uh, she's an author and she wrote this. Um, she created Nopta Lo Malo. That's her brand. Mm -hmm. Or Nopta, yeah, Nopta Lo Malo. And she um, wrote these books basically about talking about black hair care. It's mm -hmm. like empowerment for young for for young girls to read the book and to feel good about their natural hair, you know. And the woman, the, the illustrator of her book is who is 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 Sidra is Sidra Sabio, and she's also coming through. So Isidra was the illustrator for Sulma's book, but she's also an artist and they have a lot of things going on. So I'm so excited to have them here next week and for them to share their journey and their story with us because they got a lot to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know why I think that that's really going to impact so many people because, why? you know, um, honestly, I feel like me growing up in my family, there were a few. Uh, there were a few of us. However, I felt that I was the one that had not the good hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I felt that my hair was the hardest, or my mm -hmm. hair was the nappiest. Um, they always had to like accommodate me by, I don't know, like I always had like the most embarrassing hairstyle. Really? <laughs> you know, before <laughs> relaxers were relaxers. You know how yeah. they have, it used to be puffy? Yeah. That was me with the puffy, relaxed hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, they did not do that to you. <laughs> they sure did. Oh, MG. And a lot of, I'm so glad. That's why we need more books like what Suma wrote because mm -hmm. like a lot of times our parents, especially back in the day, didn't know how to take care of our hair. Yeah. I mean, my hair used to be all the way down, like, down my back, mm -hmm. natural waves, and I permed it. You know, I ended up perming it because I wasn't happy with my hair. Like, why? <laughs> you know? Yeah, so I can't wait for them to come next How week. old were you when you permed your hair? I was 14. 
Oh. I was going into high school thinking, you know, I wanted to be cute and <laughs> braids, long braids wasn't cute. Oh. And now everybody rocking long box braids. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Um, my brothers actually told my mom, my aunt mom, that raised me to put locks on my hair. Really? Mm -hmm. They were like her hair, you know, just put locks on her hair. It would just be easier to maintain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but they didn't mean, they didn't mean anything wrong, anything bad from it. They just mm -hmm. wanted me to like, they wanted my hair to get longer and they felt like with locks, mm -hmm. it will, actually get longer mm. yeah so did you lock your hair at a young age or when you got older say that again i didn't hear did you lock your hair at that age when you was young or when you got older when i got older over my mom's dead body that's what she told them <laughs> she oh told them God. that she was like you think I'm gonna, no, nothing wrong with her hair. She was the only one that had hopes for my hair. Everyone had like, oh my God, I don't know what to do with her hair. My mom was in denial. She was just like, I don't know if she was in denial, but she was always like a very encouraging mom. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, she really wanted me to love myself for what I, what I had, <laughs> like what I had, yeah. what I had. Um, she used to tell me that nothing wrong with your hair where everyone used to call me, the name they used to call me was Body Locks. What? No, they so mean. They call me Body, Body Locks. And then they started to call me that out of cariño. Body, uh -huh. body, like that. And uh -huh. so I'm there like, hi, responding, hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, wow. Yeah. It was just a hot mess, but she always I, that's one thing I appreciate from my my aunt mom that raised me. Mm -hmm. She was determined to make sure that I felt love. That's good. She was determined. She was strict. She was somewhat like a but she was determined for me to to love myself. Wow, God bless her. Yeah, she's like she's not gonna get locks. She's not gonna get that dreadlocks thing in her. No, with nothing wrong with her. She's fine. She's perfect. And I'm like, oh, wow. How do you believe in that? <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> yeah, I have to tell you, you, you do so kind. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So guys, um, we definitely apologize. Um um for the delay right now yeah. but she's coming she's coming just bear with us if you have any questions if there's some things you want to know about please don't hesitate to comment and, or leave your questions on the side we can talk we can chat we want to talk with you too yeah right? exactly of course <laughs> of course <laughs> we want to talk with you guys as well hey. all right so our information is down below um you could find audrey information down below um how to connect with her you could go to her website as she mentioned the garifunan cultural center will be opening soon and we are sending her a lot of energy from new york to Roatan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's major things coming up, guys, and we really want yeah. everyone's support because we really want to also support you. <laughs> yes, of course. So, like I say, today me, tomorrow you. Exactly. Exactly. That's how you have to see it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, what's the rest of the kiddos? They're taking a nap. Can you believe it? That was divine intervention. Like, you know, God knows that I needed to be, I need the house to be quiet right now. My husband is still working. The baby's to the left. So I was like, how am I do this? How am I do this? And now they're sleeping. You see? Wow. You know, they've they been looking out. You got to keep prayers, prayers up. <laughs> For real. Prayer work. I'm telling yeah. you. What? <laughs> and this one is about to fall asleep so yeah she she feels the energy right now in the house is like everyone is yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> so just to share a little bit of norma for everyone that's here and waiting um norma <clears throat> is the founder of the um 
Botanica Natural, okay? I was able to connect with her through Instagram um, when I created the Golden Healing, the Golden Garifuna Healing Instagram. Um, and I saw her sincerity. I just saw her products. Um, and I was like, you know what? Something's pulling me to like try these out. Mm-hmm. And so that's how I connected with her. And she's so friendly, guys. Honestly, you have any questions before your purchase, you can DM her um, and she will gladly, with so much honor, respect, answer all your questions. Nice, nice. I'm really, I'm, I want to, I want her to talk about if she has any hair care products. That's what I'm really into. You know, and I see that she's just so passionate about this natural line. Like everyone is going natural. Mm-hmm. And so I think, um, you know, I'm really interested to see how she got into this and what other products she has. And if she got something for my hair, of course. <laughs> I can't. What are you see. using currently right now for your hair? Girl, regular Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I put some olive oil, some coconut oil, and like Eco Styler gel to hold the twist, and I'm out. That's it. Okay. Wet it here and there, you know. But, you know, I know I need a little more. TLC for my hair, so I'm shopping around. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, when I started, um, when I started my natural journey, because I was relaxed for a while, mm-hmm. um, it was so bad to the point that I would not go out if my hair was not done. If I didn't have a, a washing set, my my roots was not straight. I was mm-hmm. not going out. What? ningún lado. I said nope. Oh my, my family God. said, Vámonos, vámonos a este party. Vámonos a... No. No. <laughs> no. No. No quiero escuchar nada. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was yeah. that so serious. After that is when you locked your hair? After that, I locked my... I actually did the big chop. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know if I was going to get emotional, but I did. I got emotional. Mm. I was so emotional. I, was, I could not believe I cried, Tyler. <laughs> Yeah, I really did. Wow. Awesome. But yeah, I did the big chop and then I let my hair um, go natural. And I don't know what led me to, yeah, I do know, to go get a washing set. I went to the Dominicans to go get a washing set after my hair was natural. And it was good. Like, it looked like it was relaxed. Um, But she would not put like proper treatment and so it got like bone straight, bone Ooh. straight. Even even though it wasn't relaxed, so it was so poorly. Da- it was so damaged, and it was, it was that reason that I decided to get locks. Because I said, you know what? Either I get locks or I do a big chop again, and I didn't want to chop my hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when I went to the lactician, she was like, "Oh, I don't know what we're gonna do with your hair. I have no idea." She was complaining. I was like, "Woman." What is this thing? <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah, she was just complaining so rude. <laughs> but um, she ended up doing it, and so I had issues with how my locks was growing too. Cause some of them was bone straight, some of them was curly. So it just it just looked so interesting. <laughs> I was just that was after the, the heat damage, right? Like it permanently damaged your hair. Follow the heat. The heat. Wow. The heat. That's yeah, crazy. It was not good. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um Norma has some some products for the hair. You know, I you know. <laughs> definitely try it out. I would definitely try it out. I also wanna yeah. um I also just ordered some oils from another guy from our sister. Um mm-hmm. her name is um Marsha. She let me see. Oh, so she she's really good with like making oils. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I order some oils from her. So hopefully she um, is able to create miracles with this. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So I believe that Norma is finally here with us. I'm so excited. Yay. Yeah, so we're gonna have her join in and she can introduce herself. And please, if you have any questions, please, please, please 
comment. We like to read it and we like to shout you out and show you love. Okay. Yes. Let's bring in. Hi. Oh. Hi, Norma. <laughs> Hi, Norma. Hi. All right. So we somewhat like introduced you. We were even talking about the products already. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. <laughs> yes. So we want to give you the, this time and space now to just introduce yourself and, and talk about, you know, what you, what, um, what, just introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Norma. I'm the founder of Botanica Natural and Botanica Natural was founded in 2000. The idea was in 2018, but 2019 is actually when it took off. And I actually, um, I can't even say that's when it took off, but that's when I started doing everything, you know, all of the, um, you know, I started making products and things like that, but I did not, I didn't launch until 2020. So, um, wow, the um, pandemic. Yes, right in the middle of the pandemic. <laughs> Go ahead with your bad self. <laughs> pandemic, where? Not right. here. <laughs> I decided that I was just going to go ahead and just launch it. Um, so our products, um, we are a non-toxic and clean um, beauty brand. Okay. And we do, um, our products consist of um, natural products and mm -hmm. clean products. So everything is safe and gentle on the skin. Mm. And so um, I've been, I was working in the, um, cosmetic industry for many, 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 many years. And, um, you know, Botanica Natural came about from different areas, different channels, mm -hmm. all of them. And um, one of them is because I was working in the manufacturing and the distribution for cosmetics for such a long time and seeing many women who start out in their homes, start out in their kitchens, in their dining rooms, making making different products and just seeing it explode into some of the things, some of the brands that you see today mm. really, really, really inspired me to really start my own. And, you know, just seeing them and seeing how they, how they, how they just started from just, you know, it just really inspired me mm -hmm. you know, to start mm -hmm. my own. And um, also my children having eczema Mm. really been, wasn't really able to put different things on their skin and I, I really didn't want to put any medicated ointments on them so I went into the natural and, and see what I can use to put on their skin without mm. you know without any medication and I made a bomb and it, it worked out perfect for them you know wow. yeah. If they flare out, I put that bomb on them and it goes right away. But I have to put it, I have to say that I, this is not FDA. <laughs> not FDA approved. That it's not a medical, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. like, you know, something that worked out for me. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, um, so there's different, different channels that kind of blossomed into Botanica Natural. Nice. Um, Norma, I'm I'm curious, how does how does you being Garifuna influence what you're doing with Botanica Natural? Well, we you know us Garifunas, we do everything is natural. Everything. Yeah. Um, my younger days of going to Honduras and seeing my mother just pick one time I still remember this as vivid as we were walking. I don't know, I don't know where we were going. But she passed lemongrass. At the time, I didn't know what the lemongrass was. She just walked, she ripped it off out the ground. And just, I said, what are you doing with that? Oh, I'm going to make tea. Just ripped it out the ground, took it home, and made tea. Like, you know, <laughs> you know and yeah. that, it's just like, I'm, I'm, we're going to go to Honduras this year. Um, and I, I just cannot wait to go and just pick an avocado. I love avocado. Pick an avocado out of the tree and bring it back into the house. And mm -hmm. you know how it, it just makes something about that just makes me feel so good. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> picking my own lemons and picking my own mangoes. And just, <laughs> I know that, you know, it didn't go from country to country to country, from store to store to store. Wow. Yeah, it's fresh. And, you know, so 
a lot of that, you know, everything we eat in Honduras is very fresh, you know, everything is fresh. So a lot of that also went into, you know, what Botanica Natural is. There's a lot of, a lot of that influence in there. Nice, nice. <laughs> and Tati and I were just talking about, do you have any, well, let's talk about the products. Cause I was like, does she have any hair products? So let's talk about what products you actually have. Please. Yeah, so my um, product line consists of um, Bath and Body. It has mm -hmm. skincare and I make candles. Mm -hmm. So everything you need for a total self-care experience is what you is what Ooh, we have. feel it um, now <laughs> so i have you know if you want to take a bubble bath you know not a bubble bath but i have um a milk bath um we have um body oils um bath bombs are coming this week either this week or next week we have bath bombs coming um uh what else do we have i have a hand and um foot balm that i i love that works because my mm -hmm. hand is so dry during the winter. Mm -hmm. Really, really bad. So I, I love using that balm every single day. And mm -hmm. then on the skincare side, we have um, we have our face wash our toner that you need to use after you wash your face, you know, to get that pH back in pH balance back into your skin. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a serum, the treatment um to go into your skin and we don't have a moisturizer yet but it's coming so my line my brand right now the line is really small but mm -hmm. my <laughs> it'll get you know in time you know we're gonna go in and start adding things in little bit yeah and um the candles have a or you know for the spring we'll be adding different more different different scents in there Oh, I'm so excited! Yeah, I'm so excited. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, ex I'm happy because I have a big restock coming up. So we'll see some new stuff in there. Awesome! Yeah. And are you making these products um, yeah. in your home? Everything I make in my home, um, wow. in small batches. Okay. Nothing is mass produced. Everything is made by hand mm -hmm. at home, but. I will be moving my products. My, uh, I'll be moving everything out of my home soon, hopefully soon, <laughs> into somewhere so we can have our dining room and our kitchen back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm so proud of you. That that's powerful. You know, a lot of big things started in people's kitchen and dining rooms. So yeah. mm -hmm. you're yeah. on the right path, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I know a couple of women who started their 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 big brands right in their home in their basement, mm -hmm. you know, and um, that that it took over their home and then oh, it it outgrew their homes and they went into, you know, a warehouse or an office or wherever it may be, and it just kind of just kept growing, 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 growing. Mm -hmm. That's really how it starts. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's so, great. Um, Kathy, you had an oil with you just now, and I was she wasn't sure what's inside of it. Can you tell us what those sticks are, or herbs, or I don't know what to yeah, use? Yeah, those are. Okay. And I don't know if I could see it. Is that the it's almost one? done? Oh, oh my goodness! I'm so <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, good, good. That looks like the co the coconut rose. Is that the coconut rose? Yeah, I yep. This is the coconut rose. One that I have here. <laughs> Oh wow! So, um, jasmine and rose flowers that are infused into the oils, mm -hmm. and um, actually, jasmine flowers and um, rose flowers are actually <laughs> flowers of love and desire, and um, jasmine flowers are considered to be an af aphrodisiac. Oh so, really? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, we have our um I know ooh la la. <laughs> so uh, I have my um my oils infused in the flowers. The flowers nice. it's the floral infused oil. Nice, nice. I use it every night. I love I love both of them. 
I, it's just so it absorbs easily into the skin mm -hmm. and it smells nice and it's not overpowering. You know, I, I used to go to bed with the, the Bath and Body Works, nothing against Bath and Body Works, mm -hmm. but I used to go, mm -hmm. and that was just too strong for me. I used to wake up and mm -hmm. you know, it is strong. Yeah, it was that's just, true. That, that's true, you know. Um, and, and, you know, when I was younger, it never bothered me. But as I got as I got bit, um, older, mm -hmm. as I got older, um, the smell, I just couldn't I couldn't handle it. Mm. Wow. I have a and this one, too. Mm -hmm. um, the sweet orange with lavender. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, that one has lavender, um, lav the lavender flowers in it. Yes, it does. Yes. That one smells really, really nice, and it has the sweet orange essential oil in it. It's not with um, with lavender oil. Mm -hmm. I I get a lot of compliments on that. It really calms people down. I even got um, someone told me that she uses it before she studies for her her nursing exam. <laughs> I said, "Oh my God, thank you, you are healing the world. <laughs> you have yes. to test now." Yes. <laughs> A little bit of this before I study for my exam. I said, "Oh my God, I'm so proud of you!" <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, well, nice, wow. nice. Okay, Norma, we the packaging is beautiful. Thank I you. love the way you you market and and promote. And this is what everyone sees. But can you talk to us about what people don't see? Like what led you up to here? What struggles gave you the epiphany to start your own product line? And how did you work through your struggle to to reach to where you at now? Well, when I when the idea of Botanica Natural came about, I didn't know anything. Like I did not know how to make products. Um, that's why it took so long from the idea being born in 2018 all the way up until 2020. Mm -hmm. I physically say, okay, I'm going to sell the product. I had to learn all of the ingredients. I wanted to make sure that those ingredients were not were safe on people's skin. Um, and it took a lot of self-learning and researching and nights where I didn't sleep because I just wanted to learn more and more and more and more and more, you mm -hmm. know, um, and just testing the products out. I had, I, you have to test, 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 test until things are, are perfect. You know, you're getting the, you want. you're getting the, um, the smell that you want, you know, you're just making sure that everything is safe, that it's non-toxic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um you know and also when you're when you're branding you know branding before you do anything before you make products branding your business is a big deal that i think a lot of people just ignore because they just want to oh, yeah. they just want to get the product on the shelf or get the product online mm -hmm. to just sell it mm -hmm. but if you don't have a brand identity then your business probably it's just it's hard for people to, to know what you are and what you're selling. That is so true. Yep. That is so true. Working on my brand identity was something that, because I didn't know, I was mm. sitting there and figure out, okay, like what, what do they mean by brand identity? What do, mm. I don't know what they, you know, but it's all in the details, figuring the colors, your fonts, all that stuff is so important to what your, how your, your, business is going to represent what you're trying to do mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of work that goes on on the back end before you even see any products on your my instagram on my website mm -hmm. there's a lot that that goes on yeah wow yeah. and how do you manage with with kids oh and my work God. and husband <laughs> and how the and, and the list goes on <laughs> The magic question. It's just, I, I wish I had an answer. You know, it's just when you're passionate about something and you just, you just squeeze it in, you fit it in wherever you can. You know, um, the kids are a lot of work. As everyone knows, anyone who has children, it's a lot of work and you kind of have to set some time for your business, set time for your kids set time for yourself which is something that i'm always promoting you know self-care and yes. you know taking some time out for yourself every day because especially with me i'm an overthinker i think 
I'm just always overthinking. My mind is always on a thousand. Like I have a, a very, I have a very crazy nighttime routine mm. <laughs> to get me to kind of like calm down. You know, I drink mm-hmm. tea, I do my face. I, you know, every night it's just to, because if I don't, my mind's racing. Okay. Wow. Like unplug after a certain hour. Mm-hmm. Give me, give myself that downtime. Oh my God, I forgot the question because I went into self care. Um, <laughs> we were talking about kids. We were talking about kids. Uh, yeah. How do you manage kids? kids? Yes. I how do you manage four, it well? I have four children. Um, my oldest is fourteen, and then I have four year old twins, a boy and a girl, and then I have a two year old um, little girl. And um, for the most part, the twins really do. Like, you know, they play with each other and, and things like that, but they fight a lot and I'm, I'm always the referee. You know? <laughs> then I have my 14 year old who's like, I'm constantly on him for school. You know, everything's virtual. So I'm like, yeah. did you get this done? Did you get that done? So in the middle of me doing what I need to do for my business, I'm checking his calendar and checking to see if he got his work done and checking, yeah. his, you know, it's just, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot yeah. that I have going on, but you know, I just, I manage, you know, like I said, when you're passionate about something, it's just, you're going to find a way to get it done no matter what. Sometimes I'm yeah. here, you know, yeah. I'm here up late when I shouldn't be, you know, just trying to take care of stuff and do stuff. And, and I'm the type of person, like once I have my mind set on something, I'm like, no, I got to get it done, you know, get it done now. So that's how I am. I just... We squeeze it in, you know. We squeeze it in as much as you can. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's happy, but you know, you got to make sure you're happy too, and make sure yep. that you're mental and and you're physical. Yeah, and I've tried. I try. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to eat clean, you guys. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> of what I eat, and like a couple times, I I wanted I wanted my I bought oatmeal raisin cookies. What was that for, right? A whole bunch of times I'm I'm trying to grab it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm going to go a healthier way. <laughs> and I'll grab a fruit or something. So I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to take, you know, you get older, you, you got to start taking care of your body. Even the younger people, you know, but you just, I'm just more mindful. Yeah. yeah definitely. No, yeah. and when it comes to like, uh, so I was vegetarian for about seven years prior to me returning back to meat. Um, and it was as if I never left. Okay. <laughs> Cause I didn't, I didn't stop eating meat because I would, you know, I had this thing against, you know, animal cruelty or anything like that. I just stopped eating meat because um, I just felt like I didn't need to eat it anymore. Mm-hmm. Right? But I realized that my body type needs, um, needs meat. Mm-hmm. At least chicken. At least chicken. And I learned this from a nurse um, that I was having um, sessions with. Um, And he was really nice. He did my blood test and he confirmed exactly what I will, because I will always see like chicken in my head. I'm like, I need chicken. (laughs) I don't know why. But um, he was like, yeah, your blood type requires a little bit of chicken. You don't have to eat it every single day, but at least once a month. And I was like, really? I ordered chicken that same day. I went, <laughs> and that's it. That's how I broke it. But yeah. one thing I tell people is that everything with mod- moderation, right. you don't have to, you know, especially if your body been conditioned to eating this way for a long time, the body has also been conditioned to help you live in this way. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when you take something out so quickly, you actually do more harm than good. Mm. Good to, to know. Yeah, that is good to know. Yeah, and that's what I did. I went cold turkey with the vegetarian life, and I didn't know that I was really punishing my body. Right. Mm. Yeah, I was really punishing my body, and I said, "No, now you're gonna eat veggies. Now you're gonna have juice. Now you're gonna." And my body's like, "We never ate like this." <laughs> oh, so but what effects did you see, Tati? Like, what what negative effects did you see in your body? So I felt very weak, mm-hmm. a lot. Um, I started to eat a lot more carbs and chips, junk yeah. food. I was craving more of that because I guess my body was retaliating back at me. Mm. I was craving more sugary stuff, 
it was just a mess. And um, so I started to feel very um, fatigued. I lost a lot of weight. Right. A lot of weight. My blood sugar was very low. It would, and so that's why I was craving sugar too, because it was trying to give me oh, energy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's wow. why you have, to, you have to brace yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, I, I did a three day cleanse um, about two weeks ago. I don't okay. know, two weeks ago, a week ago. And that first day, it, oh my God, I felt so weak. I went to bed early. It was <laughs> like, <laughs> I was so tired. You know, because all I had was just the juices, you know. Um, but the second day, I felt a little bit better. And then by the third day, I was like, okay. But that was my last day. And then, mm -hmm. um, so from that, that point on, I've been really trying to watch, you know, what I eat, what drinking a lot of water. Mm -hmm. um, I love grapefruit, drinking, you know, eating a lot of grapefruit and mm -hmm that cucumbers and mm -hmm. stuff that I can tolerate. Like there is, yeah. no, I can't, I don't like beets and all them stuff. <laughs> I know I'm severely anemic. So I know that the beets will probably be really good, but I just could not, I couldn't, I can't do it. You gotta get used to it. You gotta get used to, to oh. a palate. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, but of course, of course, when you're doing your fasting, um, the beginning stages, you are gonna get weak. Yeah. But then, as you mentioned, like you start to pick up energy, you start feeling a natural energy yeah. within yourself. Because yeah. our bodies, we are energy. We yeah. are energy. So we are meant to um, go through a level of fasting. It helped with many things. It helped with um, our um, menstrual cycle. Yeah. It helped with our ovulation cycle. It helped with our um, diet, how we're taking food, how we're we releasing, reducing constipation. Mm -hmm. It helped with heart disease, liver disease. I could go on. <laughs> well, you know, I'm I'm PCOS. Um, I want to touch on that a little bit. And for everyone who don't who doesn't know, PCOS is um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, mm -hmm. and I've been battling with polycystic ovarian syndrome for I think I was. For, just for forever since I know, and I think so, I was twelve when I first um, started to get my menstrual and noticed started noticing that it was on and off, on and off, on and off. Mm -hmm. um, of course, when I was a teenager, I, you know, I didn't think anything of it until I got into my um, early twenties. I started mm -hmm. to say, "Hey, what's going on here? You know, I'm not getting my periods every month and things like that." So, um, um, PCOS. It affects women. It affects women differently, mm -hmm. you know. And me, um, I have abnormal hair growth, um, mm -hmm. which is annoying. I can't stand mm -hmm. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, um, my weight. And when I was younger, um, I would get, you know, it would just my skin. You would see the difference in my skin. You know, my skin. Sometimes I would get acne and. Mm -hmm. um, things like that. I was always taking care of my skin. Always, always, always. Cause it was just, wow. I want to break out and it and want, you know, but the PCOS, it's just, it causes infertility, mm -hmm. um, which is something that I had to battle with. And, you know, a lot of people don't speak about it. Women who don't have, I, I can tell you, I was, when I found out that I had PCOS, there was nothing. People weren't talking about it. Mm -hmm. Weren't you? There wasn't a lot of information on it. You know, when the doctor told me I had, I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> and, you know, I have no yeah. idea what that is. You know, um, it causes women not to ovulate, which is it. Would that's what causes the infertility issue. It causes you not to get your menstrual, and it's really hard to to deal with. You know, especially mm -hmm. trying to have kids and things like that. Um, now I have four, but <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it worked out, but it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot to go through. So, um, but that's another reason why I'm just really trying to just watch what I eat and, mm -hmm. and, and things like that, because it does help. Um, I did have someone reach out to me and told me that she was able to, I think we had a conversation about this. Yeah. Um, but she told me also the same thing. She was able to reverse hers. Mm -hmm. I said, wow, you're the second person that See? said that to me. <laughs> I said, because wow. find it's, there's no cure because that's what the doctor told me. But mm -hmm. now I'm hearing two people telling me that 
they were able to reverse there. So now I'm like, okay, well, what we, are we going to do? Because I can reverse mine too. Because this is hair growth, I can deal with it. Mm -hmm. You definitely, yeah. you definitely can um, reverse it. Um, so that's what I. That's when I come in. Um, so for those that don't know, I am a, a womb practitioner. So I work with women that have fertility issues. I am a doula. So I help women just energetically return back to their original state where their bodies are just reversed. You have to kind of like go back to like your original, um, your original, I can't even, let me see. I'm trying to think of the word, but I'll, I'll get back to it. So for within my Garifuna roots, right? A lot of the women are natural healers. Yes. And they also do a lot of like, they care for women that will always try to either conceive or have to give birth. Mm -hmm. So growing up, my house used to be crowded, I see, of women coming in to see my mother. And my mom would do massage de la matriz mm. to align it. And it's not, it's, it's not pretty. <laughs> it hurts. It's uncomfortable. But it really helps to realign the woman's, you know, uterus to its proper where it needs to be for it could be able to, you know, to have the flow that it needs to conceive. Mm -hmm. Right. So when I discovered the practice that I'm currently in, which is body and brain, um, they taught me there how our body temperature is so crucial and how it tends to fluctuate up right. and down, up and down. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, through um, stress, change of environment, change of situation, experiences. So trauma also creates all these things. So the way that you can reverse it, of course, they will tell you, you have to watch what you eat, right? But it's also how you're sleeping, how you're breathing, how are you actively? How are you actively? All those things really help to reverse the symptoms, the condition. Doctors, of course, are only going to give you the practical level because that's what they're supposed to do. Right. Right. They're not going to go that deep with you because they don't know that they're not trained to that capacity. Right. So that's why you will come to a person like myself um, that can help you go a little bit deeper and trying to pinpoint where the mishap happened mm -hmm. and then re like align it <laughs> for you can um, you can reverse whatever is going on in your body. It could be through diet. It could be through act being active. Um, even your thoughts, people don't realize the power of your thinking, your habit of how you're thinking. Yes. Right. Mm. So many of us are so negative with ourselves, but that's only because of how we were. See, people don't realize that the reason why we even think negative about ourselves is because we are mocking the language, the custom of our upbringing. Right. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. so how our parents spoke to us, how we saw our adults speak to one another. So mm -hmm. we adopt that and then we do the same thing as we get older. And so we don't realize that that energy is still playing a major role in our overall um, condition. Right, mm -hmm. I believe so, it. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. Good stuff. So oh, you, know, you know what, you know what, guys, I want to just mention, because we're going to have like a woman's event mm -hmm. at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're going to talk about it in a much more in depth. And this event never, ever been free. So I right now we have, I think, about like 40 something people that register that we don't even know yet. Wow. <laughs> we don't even know. Wow. So this is definitely a demand, mm -hmm. a demand. So I highly recommend, I'm going to put the information, actually, I think the information is already down below. You could click the link. You could share with your friends, your mother, your sister, your people you don't even know. Mm -hmm. And just if they, whatever question they, they will have, it will be answered that day. I promise you. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. And Norma, before we go, where can we buy your products? Yeah. Well, um, it can be found online at www.botanicanatural.com. 
Um, also, um, you can find um, some of my products in gift boxes. I have two. Ooh. I have gift boxes. One is called Bifties, <laughs> and the other one is called Sisterly Box. Um, mm -hmm. My products. The Sisterly Box um, is uh, it's um, what do you call it? It's seasonal. So once it's gone, it's gone. Mm -hmm. But Bifties um, is um, actually like an all. Uh, she does a gifting business. She does. She has gifting. How do I say this? It's a gifting business. Oh, I guess only her can ex really explain how it is. But you yeah. can <laughs> and it's all black owned um, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, everything that she has, she carries in her boxes. But mo based, mostly online is where you can find my find my products at, on my website. Nice, nice. Um, I'm going to put my order in. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I see Rochelle here. She she just wrote the lemongrass um, tea is amazing. Ooh, I yeah. love it. We have a lemongrass bush right here behind the house. So oh, yeah. Everybody. It tastes so good. Yeah. Body lotion. I love the way it smells. It really does remind me of that day where my mom went and picked it out of the ground. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, lemongrass tea is so good. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. So do anyone else have any questions for our amazing special guests? <laughs> <laughs> so um doll, you know, yeah, you have any any anything you want to share? No, you know, I'm very happy to be here. I'm honored speaking with you. You ladies are so wonderful. <laughs> so <laughs> like Thank you. I'm so happy. You know, I got a chance to speak with you both. Yeah, it's so glad you could join us. Yeah, <laughs> and Audrey, I'll be in touch with you for sure because you know, I, I gotta get, I gotta get home in one of in those islands. <laughs> yes, let me know. I'll hook you up. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like I got, I, I told, I told my brother too. I said we gotta buy up some of that land because yeah, I've okay, a, a big problem out there where. You, the land is, they're trying to take it away from us, you know? Mm -hmm. And in my mind, I'm like, before they take it from us, everybody up here, we need to go down there and buy it all up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, for buy real. And if it's just a little bit, you know, and if you have, you, if you have, you know, your grandparents out there, your mother out there, and you're going to mm -hmm. be inheriting some of that land, please don't sell it. You mm -hmm. know, that land please. to make please. a home, a vacation home for your kids. Yeah you know, um, and stuff like, you know, make it, make it nice and, and just don't let nobody take that land from you. It's precious. Mm -hmm. They, they killing people out there because they know it's something special. They know it's something good, you know? Exactly. So don't give it up. Don't give it Thank up. You. Thank you so much. That's so true. My mom has property out there and she was, she was like, oh, I'm gonna give it to your younger brother because he's the only one that goes out there. And I was like, oh yeah, just give it to him. <laughs> but now I'm like, ma, she like, look at this. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. I said, it's mine, ma, it's mine. And she was like, okay, you sure you want it? I said, it is, it's already mine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's so I'm really happy. Oh, but you. you know, I like how you share that. Yeah, yeah. I think if all of us <laughs> took a little bit of our income tax money and go out there and buy some of that land up, you know? Okay. But the okay. stimulus is going out right now. Okay. That stimulus is, is saving lives. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> go out there, go buy some of that land, you know, because they want it for a reason, you know? So mm. it's precious. So go get it if you can. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna conclude, but before we conclude, we ask that you also, you know, um, please reach out to Norma and please yeah. support her. Um, she is an amazing entrepreneur doing amazing things for our community. Thank you know, just just you creating this. This is <laughs> me saying yes. That's me too. Right. <laughs> that's yep. me too. So show oh. her love inspiring other women and empowering yes. other women if you have any questions 
um, please reach out to me. I love hearing other people's story. People call me and say, you know, you inspired me to do this and to do that. You know, no, nothing small. You know, so whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. You just got to put your heart into it. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So yeah. don't forget to follow her Instagram and Audrey's Instagram and my Instagram. Um, we love yeah. to be connected. If you are working on any special projects, please let us know. Um, we can also, if this is the way for us to support you, just let us know that this is this is something that you would like to do and yeah. come on. And we will definitely share the space with you. Um, also, don't forget about the women's event we're going to have. Um, this the ending of this month is going to be on a Sunday is um, March 28th. Um, it's going to be between 10 and 1 p.m. I'm going to do the best part. Okay. <laughs> like, so no, everyone is, is amazing that's going to be partaking in this, but I'm going to be talking about the steaming part. I'm going to be talking about the matrice, the power of it, and mm -hmm. how vapor, the water, really helps us to um, recharge and get those kidneys activated to bring back balance and temperature within your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to possibly reverse a lot of these conditions that many people don't know that it's possible to reverse. Right. Nice. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Hey, Audrey, you have anything to say? Um, no, and like I said, if you guys are going to visit the island, make sure you stop by the Garifuna Cultural Center. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Garifuna Cultural Center. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.